Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about something that I think all of us need to learn how to do in the stock market eventually. And why not do it now than later? Because today was a darn rough day. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. I think pretty much anybody that is investing in the stock market today had a pretty horrible day today. No matter if you invest in Tesla or an S&P 500 index or GameStop, especially GameStop, because uh, their earnings were not as expected. Let's just say that. Um, if you guys want, I can make a video going over GameStop earnings, but that's not what this video is going to be about. This video is going to be about how to get over losses in the stock market because that is just part of the game. Losses happen. They really do. There's no way to avoid losing. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into it. So first of all, let's go over if you're holding for the long term and you have a big, 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 big red day, um, which might be happening with some of you Tesla shareholders or GameStop shareholders today, um, especially. And if you believe that nothing major has changed with the company fundamentally, and you believe the stock has a lot of potential, then it might not be a bad idea to buy more. If you really believe in the company, you did thorough research, and you believe that they still um, are a great company and still have tons of potential and are still a money-making opportunity, then it's like a Black Friday deal today, honestly. I mean, if you're holding for the long term, you shouldn't be so concerned with days like today. Um, even though you might see a big, big red in your account on the day, um, if you're holding for the long term, these days shouldn't matter that much to you because it's a Black Friday deal, you know? It's like, I made an analogy for this. I It's not that great, I'm gonna be honest with you, but it's it's something so think about it right if you bought a video game for 60 bucks a year ago and now that same game is on sale on black friday for 30 bucks at first maybe you'd be a bit pissed off you're like well shit if i just bought this game a year later i would get it for much cheaper but the thing is that in addition to this game being on sale there's a new game out that was just released that's really really good that's also on sale at this point you probably wouldn't be mad if you're a fan of the franchise and you want to buy these games even if a model that you bought earlier and played through already is on sale big time versus what you bought it for but there's a new game out that's also on sale I don't think you'd be so angry because then you're getting a new video game um, for less than you would pay for otherwise, you know? So, so that's kind of how it is on these red days. You know, it's a Black Friday deal. That's really what it is or Cyber Monday or whatever. But it's basically just a deal to go shopping for stocks. Literally, that's what it is. And in the case that something changes with the company that you're holding for the long term, take the losses. Okay, I'm serious. The second anything changes, major Anything major changes with the fundamentals of the company and you believe that this company is a losing company now, just sell. Take profits. Don't wait for it to go back up because that is a losing proposition over the long term. If you keep on doing that with bad companies, you're going to be losing money over the long term. Just take your losses and run. All right. For one, it helps with taxes, which is a nice side note. Um, but for two, even if it does go up the next day, don't kick yourself because chances are if something truly bad happened to the company's fundamentals, you getting out right now, you'll see it as a good, as a great thing that you did um, later on if the, if the, if some, because if something changed truly fundamentally with the company, eventually the stock is going to plummet, you know, um, and you're going to look back and like think, wow, okay fine, I bought the stock for 40 bucks and I sold at 25, but the stock is now a $1 stock. I did a really good job, right? Um, so seriously, take losses when needed and don't kick yourself if it goes up tomorrow right after you sold, because guess what? That happens with literally everybody, okay? I mean, eventually it's gonna happen with everybody. Nobody's perfect, all right? Now, this is actually the toughest loss to cope with, in my opinion. 
Um, and I have a lot of experience in this field because earlier this year, I was dabbling into short-term options a bit because I have a small part of my money that I use for short-term plays and uh, a majority of my money goes towards long-term stocks. Um, and these days that my short-term plays are not so short-term anymore. They're not like they used to be where I used to do options with one week or two week out expirations. Now I do more long-term stuff. And you know, I've dealt with so many losses and so many gains on that uh, percentage of my portfolio, which I used to do crazy, crazy gambling on that I have a lot of experience in this field. So I think I can help you guys out here, especially like with options, I have burned that percentage of my account that's in options and completely rejuvenated that percentage of my account like 10 different times this year. I mean, if you look at that part of my portfolio, it's like from 300 to 3000 to 300 to 3000 to 300 to 3000. That's literally what it looks like. I mean, it, it's crazy. So I've had so many losses with this. And let me tell you, if you lose like big time, like an option goes down 90% or it expires worthless or something, seriously, just take a break from options or anything volatile in general and stop doing short term options. I'm serious. Stop it. I mean, short term options, unless you're a very, very skilled trader and you really know what you're doing is a losing proposition long term. Don't do it. Just don't. Okay. I don't touch those anymore. I don't really play short term options anymore because my account has been burned and it has been up massive amounts of money um because of short term options so long term chances are it's a losing proposition don't do it just stop and take a break seriously like take a small break where you just do something else go play video games i don't know buy some popcorn watch a movie whatever just do something else except think about stocks literally just do something fun and get your mind off it because you're going to be pretty darn angry and sad after you burned your account because of options. So you're definitely going to want to just take a break and calm down before doing something else in the market. Because chances are, if you go back in right after you're heated and angry as hell and you do some revenge play to try to make back your money, you're going to lose money again on that revenge play. So just stop and take a break. Seriously, people. And that just about sums up this video. If you guys did enjoy it, I would love it if you guys left a like and subscribe to this channel. That'd be really, really awesome. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace.